Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline. And today we're going to talk about blue glowing meat in your refrigerator. So first let's talk about the more mild version. We'll eventually get to this one, but let's start with regular meat iridescence. Now I think I've seen just a tiny bit of this, but it just seems like it's a little bit more extreme than I remember. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but sometimes it looks like uh, meat has a, a tiny bit of, of iridescence. Um, so there's, they're explaining that here. The storyline right now is that when you cut meat, it naturally splits the light like a rainbow due to the fibers in the meat. Iridescent deli meat is perfectly normal. A rainbow or oil slick defect sometimes happens when meat is cut against the grain because slicing through bundles of muscle fibers can result in a greasy surface that is perfect for light diffraction but is still safe to eat. Iridescent deli meat is perfectly normal. That's the storyline. Here's some pictures of uh, some. They're not just saying deli meat. They're actually saying any meat. Uh, ham. Here's some beef. Um, it has a green iridescence to it. I've never seen anything that extreme myself. Uh, here's a micrograph analysis of the rainbow meat. Okay, so pretty weird, but not totally weird. Now we're going to get to the totally weird stuff. Here we go. All right, this is a pig that was, a wild pig that was caught. And when they sliced it open, they were pretty shocked to discover that it was turquoise inside. All the fat was dyed this bright turquoise color or was this bright turquoise color. So of course they were pretty freaked out. This actually happened in California. Here's a bunch of images of the pig after they caught it. So they said that the, the, the coloration was throughout the pig. So they cut different areas and everywhere the fat was this bright turquoise color. But otherwise the pig appeared to be healthy and totally normal. Just this one weird color. Okay, so I, I looked into this a while back and they didn't really have a, a good explanation. I think I discovered this about a year and a half ago. Um, and now looking again, I'm seeing a little more information. Uh, supposedly they put, they sent in some of the pork for analysis and the results were a little vague. Um, they're saying the blue pigment is almost certainly from a blue dye put into, into anticoagulant bait formulation but we could not verify it analytically. We had a similar case in a feral pig a few years ago. I'm not sure what that really means, we can't verify it analytically. So they're just guessing. Um, they're saying it could not completely verify the cause of this coloration because the lab only received a sample from the animal, not from the likely rodenticide source as well. So um, they're saying now they can't figure out anything unless you already know the answer. Kind of a weird one. Anyways, uh, what I discovered uh, when I first looked into it was this one where they were saying that these pigs were showing up in Uganda, in Uganda, uh, and they're calling it uh, blue pork syndrome. The affected pigs look healthy, but when slaughtered, the pork is found to be blue, especially in the fatty areas and other parts that are normally white. The blue pork was first noticed in Masaka District, southern Uganda, in 1998. Last month's veterinary experts in Markerer University warned that the blue pork syndrome has spread to at least eight districts in the country. The eight districts have, okay, it goes through who the eight, eight districts are, but so far we have seen nobody dying from blue pork, but they might be affected in the future. They, they don't know what it is over here in Uganda <clears throat> either. So um, apparently people have eaten it and, and been fine is kind of the indication. So that one's pretty weird. The blue pork, you have to admit that that's pretty weird looking business. But I did promise you glowing blue pork and that is what's next. Check this out. This is glowing blue meat. It glows in the dark. All right, so what causes this? You probably think it was rotten or something, right? But, but no, that is not what they're saying. Okay, so this person here found this weird colored meat and uh, she inquired and research was done. 
Okay, so what did they find out? This information is going to come from the head of the bioluminescent superbugs lab at the University of Auckland. So kind of surprising to think they even have a head of bioluminescent superbugs. Apparently, we're going to see a lot of bioluminescent superbugs in the near future. Anyway, so what the story is, is that these bones were kept in a kind of brine, which is very salty. So sea bacteria will enjoy that environment. She said, although there were a couple of strains that could be dangerous, it was unlikely to be the case for this meat. So they're saying that uh, the sea-based bacteria like certain environments and they are glow in the dark. And so if they get on your meat, your meat could be glowing. But she says, I think the risks are really minimal. It's really common in fish. If you leave fish in the fridge for a few days, sometimes it will start to glow. I don't think so, no. I, I just can't say that I think that that was in my old reality, that it was common for fish to start to glow if you left them in your fridge. In most cases, you would never know because we cook it. She said it was also likely that those packag packaging the meat wouldn't notice the glow. The product is sealed up and it stays sealed so you wouldn't see any light because there isn't any oxygen in there. I don't understand that statement. You wouldn't see any light because there isn't any oxygen in there. I think what they're saying is if the bioluminescent bugs don't get any oxygen, then they won't glow. Then when you open up the packet, they start to glow. So without opening all the packets, it would be very rather difficult to tell whether there was anything there. Wallace said she didn't know what to think when she discovered the, gl the glow. The dog trotted off to its room and it started glowing in its mouth. You naturally think it's radioactive or something. Anyways, it's pretty weird. So apparently this meat was got for the dog. It was glowing. The dog started glowing. This is not an isolated incident. First of all, they're saying in this article by the supposed expert of uh, bioluminescent superbugs, that glowing fish in your fridge is normal. I don't agree with that. But uh, there have been a few other cases. This is the case I found a year and a half ago. Okay, so the next incidence of this weird glowing meat is actually the one I found originally about a year and a half ago. And this was found in Sh Shanghai. And a woman was said to have found that her meat was glowing. Shanghai resident purchased Blue glow pork, both surprised and afraid. And there are some pictures of the pork. And uh, there's a picture of her hand in the, in the regular light and then glowing. So she was saying that if you touch the pork, then your hand would also glow. That's similar to what they were saying about the dog bone story. Food experts say it is safe to eat. Shanghai Health Supervision Department food experts say the pork that has been contaminated by phosphorescent bacteria is still safe to consume after cooking and heating. Okay, so there you go. Apparently it's common now for food, meat that is, to become glowing in the dark and it's perfectly safe to eat. This is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline. Yeah.